So Oliver Stone comes out as an anti-Semite. I always thought his movies were pretty bizarre and a skewed view of history. And now Showtime has engaged him to do a story on the Holocaust, which is like uh, letting uh, the terrorists do a story on Israel. Uh, it turns out in terms of what he said, just a couple of quotes recently, uh, for which he supposedly apologized, but we'll get into that in a second. He said that Hitler caused more damage to the Russian people than to the Jewish people but that the American focus on the Holocaust stems from the Jewish domination of the media. Well, it's true that more Russians died than Jews died. But what was the difference? The Russians died in war, in fighting. He, uh, Hitler was not, his goal was not to exterminate the Russians. His goal was to exterminate the Jewish people, to commit genocide. He focused on anti-Semitism as almost the basis of his whole cult. He was a maniacal murderer, mass murderer, trying to destroy all the Jewish people. So for the Jewish people and for the world to say this guy was a maniac, he was the worst evil of history, and to say it's comparative that he killed more Russians and the Jews just try and focus on the Holocaust because of uh, the Jewish domination is pure and unadulterated anti-Semitism. It completely mitigates the horror of genocide. I mean, th this man's moral compass is completely skewed. And then uh, he says uh, Hitler was a Frankenstein. There was also a Dr. Frankenstein. German industrialists, the Americans and the British, he had a lot of support. True, but Hitler still was the main guy who conceived of this whole thing. Through his charisma, mobilized the German people to, uh, to do it. And it's not that we let anybody off, off the hook, but Hitler was the mass murderer, maniacal mind behind it. And then he talks about, again, this old uh, conundrum, the Jewish domination of the media. There's a major lobby in the United States. They're hard workers. They stay on top of every com uh, comment. So if the Jews are the dominant of the media, then how come Israel keeps getting blasted all the time? It's completely nonsense. You go down the list of, of the uh, NBC, CBS, ABC, uh, CNN, all the major newspapers. Uh, who are owned by Jews? Which ones? And uh, the New York Times used to be owned by a bunch of totally assimilated Jews who were anti-Israel in the first place. I mean, the guy is completely off his rocker. He's just pure anti-Semitism. And of course, the bizarre thing is that his father's Jewish, but Tom, we know there's a lot of plenty of self-hating Jews. Now, what about this uh, supposed uh, apology that he made? You know, when people say things that are in their heart, like uh, Helen Thomas said the other day, or Gibson said when he was drunk, so what, what is this apology? It's a cheap and costless gesture after the damage has already been done. He impugned the honesty and integrity of hundreds of scholars who have devoted their careers to studying the Holocaust when he said that um, uh, he asserted that the Jewish control of the media is preventing an open discussion of the Holocaust. The Holocaust has been discussed on infinitum for uh, 60 years, and in every aspect has to be analyzed to understand how a society could do this. So I would suggest, first of all, Everybody get out a pen and write this name down. M-A-T-T-E-W, M-A-T-T-H-E-W, Matthew, two T's, period, blank, B-L-A-N-K, at Showtime.net. And email him and tell him, he's the, ex the direct president of Showtime, that it's completely bizarre to hire this guy, Oliver Stone, to direct a show on the Holocaust. He's a pure anti-Semite. And then I would say never, ever, ever see another Oliver Stone movie. Alexander, uh, Nixon, JFK, Born on the Fourth of July. Just look up a list of uh, Oliver Stone movies and don't go see him. The guy has to be shut down for his slanderous, libelous, lying uh, attitude, complete prejudice and anti-Semitism.